Hello and welcome to Clea's World. I am Clea and today I would like to share with you more information I've received during my last BQH session. I will be reading from a transcript of the session when I refer to Lorraine, I'm speaking to my practitioner who's asking me questions I've prepared in advance of the session. And when I refer to me in this particular case, which is new for the session, I'm actually referring to source. Because uh, if you watch my channel for any length of time, you know that from the beginning I've been connecting to the 25th dimension, but in this last session, all of a sudden a source popped up and he's been answering our questions. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna start reading here. And so this is Lorraine asking source. Since aliens see things very much a 3D like level because they don't know about the 25th and that we are all one. You said that they will be shocked by the recall because it will signal that we have reversed a really low vibe situation on such a negative planet and that the good guys, in quotes, have finally gotten the upper hand. You have called it a pattern interrupt and have used the analogy of us finding out tomorrow that North Korea is a free and prosperous country. So what would they think of the takedown? Wouldn't they just think that we somehow pulled off the recall and won a battle, but the bad guys eventually won the war as expected? Isn't this going to reconfirm that nothing has really changed? Wouldn't it be like North Korea being annihilated by a nuclear attack right after finally freeing itself? We here would think it's more of the same and that beautiful things are never going to last anyway because the dark always wins in the end. We are accustomed to the other shoe dropping. In fact, this planet has made us cynical and we expect that trying to improve things only increases the severity of the reaction by the dark, like a rebellion being squashed in blood so as to be a deterrent to any future attempts at freedom, what gives? Me. So this is source. Yes, what gives is that I am looking at body level for this logical explanation, this line in the sand. The truth is, and I've used this word before to describe the recall, it is a signpost. That's all it is. I have decided, we have decided as this collective of my aspects, that in this particular section, again, if we want to call it a section of reality, that we would have a signpost. And once the signpost happened, we would know we're close to the end. And we would use this excuse to say, everything is transformed. Everything is already transformed. I've explained this as the 25th many times. Everything has changed forever. There is nothing more that must happen for everything to change forever. However, we have told ourselves, once we get to this point, once we see this point, that will be our signal that it's done. And that will be the recall. It's just a signal. So it doesn't matter if it doesn't make sense. This is a good question. Why should it be such a big deal if the whole point, in fact, there's another question coming up. We are making it a point to not make it look like a big deal even on this planet. So if we're not going to make it look like a big deal on this planet, the aliens that look at things at a very 3D-like level very concrete level, visual level. Why should they think any different, especially when they see the planet being disintegrated? Again, we are removing the reality. It's not an explosion. We're just removing it. We're moving to a new reality. And why? Because we said so. Because this is what we decided, that's all. There's no logical explanation. This is just a signal. This is just what we have decided to see as the sign that, yes, we are moving on. We already explained the energy is already there. Of course, the energy has been there the whole time, but we are now in a much quicker energy since the original takedown timeline. And since we completed this project, which we call project, really, since we have completed this phase where we have realized, where we brought in this information, and we now take it as, I remember this information. I remember who I am, even when I am in body form, because of this, now we are creating and we're going to be able to create. We talk as if there is a future, but we are going to be able to create whatever we please. And this is going to expand the game many times for the simple reason that we had a lot of limitations. We put a lot of limitations on ourselves. The aliens do the same thing. When I am in alien form, I might have a different type of consciousness. I might tell myself I have a different type of consciousness, but truly it's still a dream with certain limitations. We have been calling it a board game, and therefore there are rules. Whereas now, with this new information, there are no rules anymore. We're going to want to forget. A different aspect might want to forget. A different drop 
I want to act as if it didn't know that it was me. But the fact is, it can now remember. It now knows in the back of its mind, it's me. At any moment, it can dip into that knowledge and use it to change its path. We are not going to stick to strict rules like we have before. That game had become a little stagnant. This is why I've changed it up. I've shaken it up. And there's just more shaking up that's happening. And so this fact that we're looking for, well, this doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't. Because these are just 3D explanations, 3D ways that I like to think of in this game that's being played. But the fact is, this is just how it's going to be. And therefore, this is how it's going to work. It's going to be like a trigger for people to remember. That's all. It could be the recall. It could have been, it could have been anything. As the 25th has already explained in previous sessions, it could have been anything. And truthfully, we just wanted it to be something that was not too hard to accomplish. And when I say hard to accomplish, I mean it from a 3D perspective that wouldn't require a lot of activity. Because the fact is, I could make anything happen in a second. I could remove this entire section of reality in a second if I wanted to. I could redo myself and my entire energy field in a second if I wanted to. But things are moving very quickly. And I did not want to set it up in a way that would require a lot of attention and labor, physical labor, if you want to think of it that way, on the old earth. Because again, the old earth is very much gone already. It's going to be gone very, very soon. And so we decided on just a signal that takes nothing really from a physical labor perspective. <laughs> and he was laughing. I laugh because nothing takes any time really to accomplish. So again, it's just a signal of something we've agreed to, something that is an agreed expectation. When that happens, the aliens are going to incorporate certain information. That's it. That's the truth of the matter. It is not the way that it plays out at a visible level, 3D-like level, is really inconsequential because I've decided that I already know what we're moving towards. So I can use any excuse to move us towards that, move us to move myself towards that. Lorraine, thank you. Okay, you said that we are resisting the conscious awareness this is over because we don't want to admit that the planet is already gone and our loved ones are dead. But this resistance could go on forever. What will it take for us to accept that it's time to move on and deal with it? Will the loved ones of the ones who are resisting have to physically die? Will the people who are resisting then be ready to accept? Because we know that the longer we stay here, the more it will become probable that they will die. Me, source. The resistance is almost gone. We are almost done. And this is why we have let in this information. We are already focused on what is to come. The resistance is almost gone. This is not what we like to think of it at this level, as there were some of us who were holding up the work by resisting. And the reason was because these people didn't want to know. The truth is, all of us at this level have a hard time letting go because we are in between our eagerness for the new and our fear, our concern that we're leaving something behind that we have loved. We have loved it as dark as it has been, as unpleasant as it has been in our human experience in many, many ways. We have loved it here and therefore it is hard to let go. This is us again as a collective. There is no collective. We'll say one more time. Each drop has its own autonomy. So free will, as you called it. But I speak of myself as the collected focus into this particular group of, and he was laughing. I laugh because, of course, it's all holographic. It's all my imagination. But this particular group of imagined realities or aspects of myself. And it is hard because, especially before getting this information, I forgot myself, which is part of the entertainment that I forget myself. And I can play in all these different ways. But now that we know that there is more, we are, of course, concerned that things are changing because things are changing, but the resistance is almost gone. So people will not have to pass. We don't have to wait for people to pass. Of course, people are passing all the time because people are gone already. What we have left behind is there are shells. It's the shells we use at this level of reality to make this reality look, this dream look a little bit more real. So while people are passing all the time, we don't have to wait for, as the question asked, for the loved ones of the people resisting. It was all of us resisting, just different personalities showing in a different way. As the 25th, we've told you many times, there is no difference. There is no us. There is only me. And therefore, obviously, I was resisting in my focused aspect. 
I was resisting because I am in between and not sure about what expects me. And while I know it's going to be good, I am also sad about leaving some things behind. Now I say sad because again, at focus level, we do deal with personality. It's one of the other things we've imagined to make this game more interesting, to give this variance, this variability, this diversity to the experience. That's what personality does. It gives variability. It gives diversity, which is the fun part of it. This is why I can be surprised because I never know what's going to happen, how somebody's going to take something. At the end of the day, the energy is what it is. We call it the higher self. We say the higher self always gets through. Of course, this is a dream. This is not real. Therefore, the energy is all that matters. If the energy is moving in a certain direction, it's going to happen. There's no way of stopping it. I have no intention of stopping it. And therefore, the resistance is greatly diminished. It is almost gone altogether. The signal will be received soon. Lorraine, thank you. On resistance, Clea has this question. What is the resistance level now compared to where we were during the last session in August? And Source here interjected, yeah, it's almost gone. And Lorraine continues, how many are still resisting? Have we made any progress at all towards the recall? Me. Yeah, I was just referring to this. Yeah, the resistance is almost completely gone. We have made, I have made great strides at a focus level in moving past the last few stops here. And yeah, the resistance is almost completely gone. And again, the question is truly incorrect in terms of how many, because there is no many, there is me. And of course, this is not to criticize my focus aspect as Clea, but I am past this. I am past this because the fact is, it is clear that there is only me. And now that this has been remembered, of course, it's not a point of saying how many of us. The fact is, it was me. I was resisting. This was normal. This resistance was normal at this 3D level because the game is changing, but I'm almost done with that. And therefore, the resistance is almost completely gone from me and from my collected focus. And therefore, if you want to look at it as what other personalities are resisting, not many, a handful. We're almost done, as I mentioned. The signal is upon us and will happen very soon. Lorraine, thank you. I'm having to jump around a bit because you answer yourself before you deliver yourself. And Lorraine was chuckling. Okay, you said that if we thought it would take 10 years to finish this project, we wouldn't have done it. But why not, since it's so paramount? Me. At a focus level, at a 3D level, we knew because we don't know why we know, but we, of course, know. And Source was chuckling. This is me. I always know. We knew that this wouldn't take very long, period. And could we have played it in a different way? We could have. But again, this energy has allowed us this new fun game that has come to us, has allowed us to make the game even more fun. And therefore, we took the opportunity, knowing that it would move very quickly. The energy is very, very quick. This is a project that's moving extremely quickly. This is the point. We were feeling stuck before. The energy was very static, very slow. I've talked about this as the 25th, where I said in the entire matrix, the game had become slow and thick like molasses. You used the word before, it felt like molasses. Whereas now it's being re-energized. And because of this, we knew this wouldn't take a long time. Now the question specifically asked, well, why wouldn't we do it anyway if this was this important? It's kind of a catch-22. The fact is, it is important and it is moving quickly. So of course we would have done it because we know it's moving quickly. So you, as Clea, Clea is trying to understand from her perspective. She's saying, well, this again makes no sense logically because if it is that important, not only we can keep imagining things, of course, at this level, I'm imagining things right now. And Sorcerer was laughing. Everything that we think is surrounding us, I'm imagining right now. Even this us, I'm imagining right now. So yes, of course, I can imagine whatever. But again, I don't want to control. I don't want to control every aspect of the game. I let the game surprise me. And in this case, I knew that it wouldn't take long because I see the energy moving and sense the energy moving faster. So is it paramount? Yes, in the sense of it's changing everything. And I'm very excited about it. But would we not have done it? It's kind of a nonsensical question because the fact is it is being done. The momentum is there and we jumped on it. Sure. Surely we could have done other things. I could have envisioned other things. 
but this is wonderful. This is a wonderful way of playing it. So yeah, it would have happened anyway. We decided that this is fun and acceptable, so, but it's not going to take a long time. Things are speeding up, if anything, even more now compared to what they were a year ago, two years ago, certainly the last several hundred years in the way that we've experienced it here in terms of time. Well, thank you so much for watching as always, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.